Welcome to the first class of easy flow yoga for cyclists and runners or Paul's awkward flow yoga for cyclists and runners. Um, we're going to start today in a tabletop pose, um, which is hands and knees. And as a bonus for every class, you also get a stupid dad joke because I'm a dad and I have stupid jokes. So where do bad rainbows go? They go to prism, ma, mm. but it's just a light sentence. Okay, so here we go. We'll start in tabletop pose, and we will do some cows and cats. So the key to my awkward yoga is the breath work. So when we inhale into a cow, we'll drop our bellies, lift our head, and stick out our butt a little bit. And then on the exhale, we'll come into a cat. Arch your backs, drop your head, and tuck in your hips. So again, we're focusing on the breathing, inhaling in through your nose, into your belly, and then relaxing the breath. Let it come out through your nose on the exhale. So this is a, a warm up for your spine, your shoulders and your hips, but it's also a way to practice and getting kind of in tune with your breath. All right, so now we're gonna come into a downward dog and if downward dog is too much, you can always come into a puppy pose. And so puppy pose, I'll show you that first, is your hips over your knees, and then sinking your collarbones to the mat. Okay, either way is good. Downward dog is to come up in an inverted V. So the breathing that we do in awkward yoga is to come up on our tiptoes on the inhale and on the exhale, drop a heel. Inhale up, exhale, drop a heel. Inhale up. And then you can try to drop both heels, maybe drop your collarbones a little bit farther. And we're going to inhale through your nose into your belly. Look up at the top of the mat. And then as you exhale and let the air out, walk your feet into a forward fold. Okay, so we are going to hang out here for a moment in a ragdoll pose. And your knees are going to be a little bit bent and the goal is to hinge from your hips. So when we stay in a downward dog pose or in a uh, forward fold pose for a little while, that's a rag doll. And then we're just letting our hinge happen so that we're trying to open up the glutes in the hamstrings and your lower back. Inhale up, exhale, come down. Good, all right, now we're gonna inhale, come up to a half lift, so our knees are slightly bent. Our torso is relatively flat to the ground. And exhale back to a forward fold. Inhale, bring your arms all the way up, overhead, and then down to heart center on the exhale and then bring your hands to the side. All right, so you can stay where you are. I am gonna be facing the camera so you can see what we'll do and I'll kind of flip around as well. We're gonna get into mountain pose and then we're gonna come into our routine. And the routine is going to be based on a crescent lunge. So first of all, in mountain, your feet are roughly shoulder width apart, but a comfortable place. You don't need to be exactly shoulder width or very narrow. It's just whatever is comfortable. Take your heel and lengthen it as if you were trying to make your foot a size or two bigger and then spread out your toes. So you've got a nice base. Your knees are a little bent. So you can see that they're not locked, but they're just a little bit bent. You're gonna tuck your hips top back so that there's a little bit of clenching in your butt. Shoulders are rolled back a little bit and your hands are at your side. And then 
get your head adjusted so that it's on top. So the key to this pose in mountain pose is not that you look straight from your heels to your head, but that you feel straight. And that's the key. Breathe into your belly. Sometimes it's good in the beginning to put your hand on your belly, like your thumb and your, and your belly button and your hand at your lower belly to push against it when you're inhaling. Good. All right. Now from here, we're going to do just a couple of warm ups before we get into the pose. We're going to inhale, bring your arms up overhead and then exhale. Bring your right hand forward, left hand back and then inhale up. We're left hand forward, right hand back. Good. And then we're going to bring your arms up overhead. You can clasp your hands together and then just rotate to the side. So I'm pushing my hip out to the right and I'm grabbing a hold of my, this is my right <laughs> wrist and just kind of letting myself, pulling myself a little bit. Then inhale up into your belly and then just relax. Good. Let's come to the other side. Grab a hold of your left wrist. If this, if this is too much for your shoulders, <coughs> excuse me, you can always have your hands on your side. So you can have your hands to your side. Just push your hips to the left. And there you go. Good. Then we'll do just a couple of forward folds and half lifts. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, come down into a forward fold. Inhale into a half lift. Exhale into a forward fold. And then all the way up. And then all the way right back down. Forward fold. Half lift forward fold and all the way up. Now this time when you bring your arms up, step back with your right foot. All right. So we're going to come into a crescent lunge or a high lunge. You have a lot of options here. First option is how far back your back foot goes. Second option is what you do with your arms. Again, if your shoulders are an issue, you can always have your hands at your side. The inhale is to keep your torso pretty straight. The exhale is to lean back. You can even try to push your back heel into the ground. Both feet are facing forward. Okay, so both feet are coming forward. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do an open arm crescent lunge twist. So I'm going to take my right hand. So my left foot is forward. My right hand is going to come forward and I'm going to flip around so you can see what we're doing. Right hand is forward. Left hand is back. Inhale, open. Exhale, bring my right hand as far forward as can come and my left shoulder as far back as it'll come. So there's a lot of balance that's happening here. We're going to do about three to five breaths in each of these poses. All right, now we're going to take my left hand, put it on my left hip and bring my right hand. So I'm rotating. So I'm almost trying to bring my left shoulder back to my right foot and inhale up. So there's a twist. I'm feeling this in my right hip flexor in the front of my right hip. And I'm also doing a lot of work in my torso as well as my front leg. All right, now I'm going to inhale. I'm going to come back to the crescent lunge and I'm going to flip around again because I'm going to come now inhale and I'm going to drop my back heel and come into a warrior two. So this is almost the exact same pose we did on the other side. Okay, so warrior two, front knee is over my front ankle. 
Back leg is straight, but not locked out. Inhale and open. So think about the weight on your back leg so that you're not leaning forward, but you're straight up and down with your torso. You're looking out over your front hand. Again, you can have your hands at your waist if you need to. Good, okay, now we're gonna inhale, drop your right hand to your waist, lift up your left hand in a reverse warrior. So again, this is just like what we did the, on the other side. Inhale, torso straight up and down. Exhale, reach back with your left hand. Try to bring your right shoulder towards your right knee. Obviously, you're not gonna get there, because otherwise you'll break. So this is the main work that we will do today. And then we're gonna switch everything up. Good, now we're gonna bring our right foot forward back into our mountain pose. Okay, so we're gonna skip some of the transitions and, and how we do that, all right? So now back in our mountain pose. Take a step back with your left foot this time into the crescent lunge. Sometimes I take a couple seconds to get settled before I lift up my arms because as soon as you lift up your arms, you lose some of your balance. Good. Inhale and then reach back, push your back heel. Again, you can have your back foot anywhere you need to. You can have it here and just be having your a little bit more stability, or you can even bring it as far, well, unless I fall over. <laughs> and you can try to really build a lot of strength by having a wider space. I'm gonna come up a little bit. All right, we're gonna inhale, bring your left hand forward and right hand back. I'm going slowly because I'm feeling a little imbalanced. Unbal unbalanced, good. And inhale, open. If you ever need to do this as a seated workout, it's also really good. I do this with a couple of older clients when we do just yoga. And we do this exact routine, but all seated. Obviously you don't get the kind of strength work that we're getting in our glutes. All right, good. Now I'm gonna take my right hand onto my right hip Lift up with my left hand, and I'm trying to tilt sideways. In the reverse open arm, crescent lunge twist. That's a mouthful of a name. It's a reverse, reverse warrior. Good. I'm just working on inhaling, relaxing a little bit and exhaling, trying to twist and open. Good, now I'm gonna inhale, come back to a crescent lunge. Inhale, exhale, and I'm gonna inhale, then on the exhale, I'm gonna drop my back foot, I'm gonna flip around here, and come into a warrior two. There you go. All right, good. So the inhale, open a little bit, Exhale, rotate and reach your hands. So check your front knee. Oftentimes we roll them in when we do transitions. So make sure it's over your front ankle. Feel the weight in your front heel. And feel the weight on your back foot. Good, and we're gonna inhale. On the exhale, bring your right hand up. We're coming into reverse warrior. If you want to, you can take your left hand and wrap it around your bottom of your back. Inhale, open, exhale, reach back behind you with your hand. Try to bring your left shoulder towards your left knee. Just making sure my microphone's still on. It's that moment of panic when you realize, oh no. Because yes, I've recorded entire classes without my microphone on. 
Good. All right. Now we're going to come back. Step forward. All right. So that is the routine. We're going to do that again two more times. <clears throat> we're going to do it for a much shorter time. And our transition is going to be a little bit different. All right, so I'm just getting my breath back. All right, back in our mountain pose. I'm going to take a step back with our right foot into a crescent lunge. All right, so here's where we're just going to create a little bit more flow. All right, inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now I'm going to bring my right hand forward, twist with my left. I'm going to flip around so we can see this. Inhale. Again, I'm pushing back on my back heel. Inhale. And bring my right hand up in the twist. Okay, good. Now I'm going to come back on inhale. Exhale into a crescent lunge. I'm going to drop my back heel. Inhale. Come back into a warrior two. So I'm going to switch, switch sides. Good. I'm going to inhale. Come into a reverse warrior. Left hand up into the air. Right hand either on your hip or on your knee. Okay. So here comes the transition. Inhale, bring your left foot forward and rotate them all the way around. So now you're facing with your right foot forward and come into a crescent lunge. Okay, I'm going to flip around. Good. Now I'm going to inhale, reach forward with my left hand, bring my right hand back. Inhale and open. I'm going to inhale, bring my left hand up, right hand to my right hip, and the reverse open arm twist or the reverse reverse warrior. Good. I'm going to come back, inhale, come into a crescent lunge. I'm going to inhale, rotate into a warrior two. I'm going to flip around here. Inhale, open. Exhale, rotate. Come into a reverse warrior. Good. Now we're going to just do that same thing again. Rotate your feet. Bring your hands back down. Rotate your feet so that now everything is facing with your left foot forward. Come into a crescent launcher. We'll just do that one more time. Okay, good. Now bring your right hand forward, left hand back. Inhale, open, exhale, reach. Inhale, open, exhale, bring your right hand up, left hand back. Good. Inhale, open to a crescent lunge. Inhale, open, drop your back heel into warrior two. Inhale, open, bring your reverse warrior. Good, bring your hands down to your waist, rotate your feet. So now your right foot is forward into crescent lunge. Good. Left hand forward, inhale, right hand back, exhale and rotate. Good. All right. Inhale, bring your left hand up and exhale, rotate. Good. Inhale, back to crescent lunge. Inhale, drop your foot, rotate into a warrior two. Inhale, bring up to a reverse warrior. Good. And then 
exhale and back and then bring yourself back and again this time come back to your mountain pose inhale your arms up overhead bring your right hand forward left hand back look behind you inhale up exhale rotate inhale up exhale rotate inhale up and exhale rotate good and then inhale arms up grab a hold of your left wrist push your right hip out just like we did in the beginning inhale up good exhale out just do three of these good and inhale grab your left wrist push out all right bring your hands down to your side bring your arms up overhead hands together hands to heart center thank you for joining us today in this class awkward yoga namaste all right thank you for joining us today if you have questions please set up a virtual coffee um, in the website in the description below um, go to the website look for more information on coaching options strength training options and yoga thanks for joining us and we'll talk to you soon